there was a situation I'd like to talk to you about. Like there was a situation on um there was a it's called Soft White Underbelly. I think you've heard of it before. Mm -hmm. And there was a yes. girl named Amanda that they were following her uh they were following her journey. You mm -hmm. know, and like she started out very normal and as the time went on, man, like you couldn't even recognize her. Like she was so far gone on a lot of things. But long story short, they end up getting her some help. They end up putting her into a rehabilitation center for her to just all of a sudden had died. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, mm. I, I'm thinking like rehabilitation centers. And when you really look at them, it's like, it's still like jail. The walls aren't full of color. It's not like Bro. super full of life where people are just super positive. I feel like there's a lot of people that are working for that just to collect the check. That's it. That's you know how it I'm is. Saying? A lot of people are. There's a lot of people just to collect the check instead of really trying to rehabilitate somebody. And man, that girl that passed away, man, that shit had hurt me. And I was like, damn, she just passed away out of nowhere. She out of nowhere, man. I'm like, is rehabilitation centers really, and this is a while after she being in mm -hmm. here. So it wasn't mm -hmm. like she died from, um, you know, not being able to take, not being on the drugs. Yes. Or, not, you know yes. what I'm saying? She actually went on and was trying to have a fruitful life, and then just all of a sudden they find her dead in her room. And I'm like, what kind of, like, what's really going on? Why aren't these type of situations being assessed? And I feel yes. like it's we're failing. We really For are. For sure, we're failing. And I don't know if I'm overreaching when I talk about that topic, but it just it bothered me when I watched it, you know? Like, and I seen the situation. I'm like, damn, like, she just died in there, bro, just... Randomly, they were putting her through like this uh, virtual, like this virtual rehabilitation in there to where like they would put her in um, this VR and they would put her back on Skid Row and make her walk around and like pick up a bottle of liquor and like it's all real, man. It was like I'm like, what kind of stress test is that? Uh, well, actually, I didn't, under, I didn't under really understand. I feel it. like it it caused stress on her. It it, it caused her to have a, a, a mental relapse. Just like a person on drugs. Right. It was a mental relapse. Um, See, you know what I'm saying. Break that shit down, bro. Like some some rehabs you go to, not everyone is good. There's some rehabs, like you said, they're there for a check. They don't care. Uh, they just gonna give you meds, and they can care if you live or die. Just like in convalescent homes, yeah. people. Uh, how you harming old people like this? You know, they don't care. They're there for a check, so they can care less if, if if you laid in this bed and you get bed sores. They don't care. They're not doing their job, helping them get up and making sure their hygiene and everything is good. The same with rehabs. Everybody that's in a rehab, yeah, there's good people everywhere. But at the same time, you're starting to see more bad than good in the world. That's the world we live in now, man. And you're starting to see more people just bad. And, and, and the bad is here, the, 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 the good is here. You know, it started to be outnumbered, just like realness. You know, when we was coming up, man, it, with the word real or the word loyalty, the world, keep your word, it meant the world to us. And if you violated it, you would get your teeth knocked out your mouth. You know, they now don't it's talk a coming. About that no more. No, <clears throat> they don't say that no more. I swear to you. And I know half the motherfuckers is gonna be in the comments ain't gonna call you crazy because they scared. But it could be somebody like me that says, and they be like, "Oh, Sharp's old. Sharp, no, I'm not even old. I just grew up under a whole and it ain't about being man, old. learning trait. Like I learned a totally different mixture than what yes. a lot of these kids or a lot of these people. Because it be grown ass people that be on the bullshit." All right, so you see it. We just hit 500K. You know what that means? That means you gotta subscribe and get us to 600K because we are dangerously close to 666K. Let's go.